Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Knowing Photoshop is so vital today. We live in a very competitive industry and more and more Photoshop is going to be required from you as a photographer. Whether you like it or not, that's the name of the game, but take advantage of it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use brushes and watercolor brushes to create a really fun effect. And if you stay until the end, your mastering of brushes and things you can do with it will increase a lot. If you don't know brushes, if you don't master Photoshop, you will miss out on opportunities as a photographer to get more exposure, to get more successful. So stick with me and let me show you how we can create a really fun project together. All right, so let me show you. I got this image here, it's really cool. I'm gonna duplicate the basic layer by dragging and dropping it here. I'm gonna create an empty layer between the two layers that I'm gonna call canvas. And I'm gonna pick like a, a yellow type color and I'm gonna fill this layer by going to edit, fill, foreground column, okay. So now this layer is just a yellow color. Okay, I'm gonna activate that layer again. And now I'm gonna make sure that the image I'm using is an 8-bit image, which is the case, see here it says eight, but sometimes it's not. So you have to go to image, mode, 8-bit. Why is 8-bit? 8-bit is just a way for the image to have a bit less information and some effects in Photoshop only works with 8-bit images. It might change in the future, that's how it is now. So now that you've done your canvas, I'm gonna make this into a smart object. So I'm gonna right click, convert to smart object. Now what is a smart object? A smart object is just a feature you put on a layer that now is going to be non-destructive, meaning you can do filters, you can do things to it, and you can go back on it, you can change your mind. If you don't make it into a smart object and you apply filters, they will be applied forever and ever. So, it is a smart object, I'm really happy, I'm gonna to go to filter, filter gallery. I'm gonna take the palette knife. Now this is a pretty low resolution file, it's about 3000 pixels wide, because I wanted to be a, have a fast file for this tutorial. Um, so you, you have to check, but between usually three and 10 of stroke size is good. So maybe like 10. Press OK. And now I'm gonna press the Alt key and create a mask. If you press the Alt key and you create a mask, that layer becomes invisible. So now I am on the mask and here comes the magic. I'm giving you for free some brushes. All you have to do is download the link that's below this video and you're gonna get this file called Watercolor Brush ABR. You double click on it and you are done. It's already installed, it's crazy, it's so fast. So, I'm on the mask, white is my foreground color, I'm gonna press B for brush or go here on brush and then I go to the brush option. Now, to be able to use better the brush option, here's a little quick tip. You go, you go here and you make sure that brush name, brush stroke is on. And then if you have it like this, you make sure you go all the way, you zoom in on your brush. It's just much easier to go. I'm gonna go all the way down at the end and I've got this new free pack that I'm just giving you called the watercolor brush effect. Now, I got a full package with dozens and dozens of dozens of painting brush and tutorials on how to use them. You can check the link below the video. But this is a free version I'm giving you now. So for example, on this one, I'm gonna use this uh, watercolor painting. All right, I'm gonna hold down the control and alt key on my keyboard to make my brush smaller. I'm gonna make sure that the, the blending mode is on normal and now, mesdames et messieurs, I'm gonna click one time on the mask and look what's happening. So one thing is when you use this brush, make sure you never click twice the same brush. It looks kind of odd. So you can right click and you can basically rotate it and then I'm gonna make one click here. Right click, rotate it and uh, you know, sort of randomly, right click, Rotate it, voila. And you can take other you know, brushes like this one. Same thing, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Click here, and voila. And I'm making the photo appear, but that's not all. I'm gonna click on the mask, and I'm gonna go now and take a splatter brush, because I'm giving you splatter brush for free. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna make it smaller, very small, and I'm just gonna add even smaller, just a bit of like splatters, oh. Same thing here, sort of rotate them even more so that it looks a little random. And I'm splattering this photo like this. Voila and voila. Okay, now, one last thing is I'm gonna give you a really cool texture that you can put over it to make it even more like a canvas. 
So I'm going to go to my library, make sure library is on. And I'm going to take this texture that I'm giving you for free. The link is below this video. And I'm going to put this over the photo. All right. And then I'm going to go back to my layers. I'm going to put this into overlay and check this out. I'm going to zoom in as you can see. So it really makes like a, a canvas feeling. I think it's too much, so I'm going to lower the opacity, put it like around 70. And voila, you got a really cool watercolor effect. But that's not all. Because we use a smart object, look what we can do. That's really crazy. I can go and double click on my smart object. And I can take another photo like this one, take my move tool and copy it over the photo. I'm going to position it in the exact same location. Okay. And maybe I'm just going to crop the photo so that they match the size. Voila. And so what I'm doing is I'm updating. I'm going to press Command S to save. And I'm updating the smart object with another photo. And check this out. I go back here and boom. It's now a completely different photo. So I'm also going to use that template. So you, all you have to do is double click on the photo, put in your file, and you get this effect. It's really cool. Download the template, download the water brush, and you will love it. So this brush can be used for landscape and for portraits. Here are some other projects that we've been doing using these brushes. All right, once you download the brushes, I want to see your art. So leave a comment on this video with your Instagram link or your 500px links or your website so that I can see what you do with this brush so that I also can see who you are as a photographer. I love to see other people's work. And if you leave a comment, other people will be able to see it and that's going to give you traffic and exposure because this video is going to go viral or not. In any case, one last thing that's very important and I may change your life forever and is that if you like this video. It might not change your life forever, but it might help this video getting a lot more exposure. So take a second, please like this video, click that little like button. And also, if you like this kind of tutorial, I've got another one that's really cool on how to add the sun in your photo. Check it out.